Good morning, Demarcus. How are you? I'm doing good. How you doing? Good, thanks. Um, <clears throat> we've seen uh, Christian Barmore. Uh, I, I want to say kind of have a breakout year. Uh, he's consistently been good game in and game out. Uh, in your mind, what's allowed that to happen? I think you just used the word. He's been, um, one, he's been healthy all season. And then two, he's been playing very consistent, you know, um, you know, every week, week to week. So I think, you know, consistency is the key. And then for him, it's uh, he's been consistent in the run game, been consistent in the pass game. And uh, he's been doing a really good job for our defense and, you know, making some good plays for us. What area has been his biggest improvement, would you say? I'll say again, uh, like, you know, going to this year three for him, um, I think, you know, this third year he's done a good job in, in being a complete player as far as early down, third down, uh, run game, pass game, and being consistent. Um, and, and that's the key thing that we try to – we preach consistency. And we preach on, you know, making sure we have good habits and creating good habits. And and that's what you're able to see on Sundays so when we go out there and play. He's putting some good, you know, tape out there. And he's he's just been so consistent for us. And we need to continue. We need him to be um, – uh, continue to be good for us for the next three weeks. Thanks. Thank you. And next question, Nico Malley. Hi, Marcus. Uh, speaking of guys who have contributed consistently for you guys, uh, this uh, Devon Gacha has been part of the really a foundational piece for the defense for a while now in New England, but is really one of the lesser heralded guys, uh, at least outside the organization from uh, what we've seen. What have you seen from his growth within the Patriots system and the role he's taken on for you guys? Yeah, uh, so Devon, again, like with him, you know, this is third year in our system too. Uh, and, and a lot of nose tackles, uh, you know, I would say early down defensive tackles uh, don't really get a lot of recognition as, you know, some, some of the, uh, you know, your mere pass rushers or um, other guys that you'll see in the league. But uh, here in New England with our defense, our coaching staff, uh, I would say, you know, he gets a, a lot of recognition by his performance and play. Uh, he does a really good job of preparing throughout the week. Um, his practice, the way he practices, his practice habits, his attitude towards work, um, his attitude towards, uh, you know, uh, studying opponents is second to none. And he does a really good job for us. And it shows on Sundays when we go out there and play. You know, he turns it on for us. Uh, he dominates, uh, you know, the guy across the ball from him, whoever that might be, center guard, it really doesn't matter because uh, he's a master of technician and does a really good job of practicing those habits. So once it once it turns to game reality, um, it, it's uh, there's no thinking at all. And we've in terms of guys who have made it to the NFL from small schools, we've, uh, Kyle Duggar gets a lot of attention. But with uh, Jeremiah and Sam on the defensive line, how have you seen their progression uh, coming from smaller programs and Jeremiah obviously having the stint in the USFL uh, into the NFL? I always joke with Jeremiah. I said, one day, hopefully, I'll be a part of your story, your book, because uh, I'm just so proud of that dude from, uh, you know, from Friends College, you know, to out of football, to USFL, to arena, um, to just working a regular job, and to now being on the active roster at the New England Patriots, which is such a blessing for him. And really, all the credit goes to, to him. I mean, every single day, uh, Jeremiah is working on something. In the morning, um, probably one of the you know first guys in there, last one off the field, uh, asked great questions in the meeting room. Even when he was on practice squad, he prepared as if he was a you know a starter on defense. And this is a guy that you know planted the seeds back when he got here and just kept going and kept going and kept going and kept going. And now you see a guy that's uh, you know that's on an active roster that's suited up for on game days that's reaping the rewards of you know the souls that you see, you know, that he planted, you know, a long time ago. Um, so, you know, can't say enough uh, good words about him and, and what he's done for us and just the kind of man he is. And then along the line with Sam, same thing for him. That's another guy that that just continue to get better, 
you know, develop. And that's what you want. You want players uh, to develop, you know, whether that's, you know, year to year, week to week, month to month, um, is to get better. Um, and, and that's what he's been doing, you know, developing for us. He's been getting better. And uh, I, I think uh, he has a bright future. Thank you. Thank you. Next question, Chris Ryan. Hey, Demarcus. On uh, on Barmar again. Um, his anticipation and also um, technique. I was hoping you could talk a little bit about that because it felt like in the last game he was doing a really good job of coming off blocks, but also kind of knowing where the play was was headed. Um, what, what's improved there, and what allows him to have success? Yeah, I, I think you know with him. Uh, it's, it's really his ability to, to use his explosion, his get off, his pad level, and his use of hands. And so when you're able to use your hands and control blocks, whether that's, you know, in the running game or use separation extension in the pass game to, to create that separation but, uh, between the defender, um, that's, that's where, you know, he's really good at, you know. And so for him, for him it's, it's, uh, he, he's done a good job of his block recognition in the run game, which has helped him out. Uh, from year one, year two, it keeps getting better each year. And so when you're able to read blocks and be able to, you know, have the recognition of it fast, um, that allows you to play fast. And for him, that's what he's done, you know, for us and, and you know, continue to do that for us. And just, you know, for you as an assistant coach, what's the kind of the uncertainty of the future been like and how has that, you know, weighed on you as a dip? Difficult at all to, you know, focus on the week to week when, um, you know, obviously you know, January seventh is is looming and what happens after that. Well, Chris, man, I, I'm a I'm a firm believer of God, so to me, uh, I don't look into that. I'm always blown where my feet, you know, where my feet, where my feet are planted. So I look at it day by day. It's not in my control. It's never in my control. I might have my own plans, but it's really all God's plans on what I what He has for me. And to, I don't look at, uh, you know, outside things as far as like what's, what could, should, always think about what, how can I get the players better today? I'm purpose driven. So me is really to impact our guys, you know, for Jesus. And, and that's why I look at it, you know, day to day. So I don't really look at like, hey, what's going to happen here, there, no. Nah. It's, it's, it's me um, attacking every day and doing the best to how can I get my guys to play good you know, in practice, how can I get my guys to play good on Sundays? And how can I get us, you know, put our defense in the best situation on Sundays? And how can we win football games? You know, that's what we look like. Um, that's what it looks like for, for, for me. And uh, that's how I go about my operation. And I, I, I'm a man who lives and, you know, not fear. I'm a faith-based man. So that's how I always operate. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. And we'll have two final questions here, starting with Mike Reese. Hey, Demarcus, how you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? Doing great. Um, Keon White and yep. his his play recognition. I'm curious what you've seen from him in that area um, as the season has progressed. Yeah, I think with the more snaps that he's getting over the season, uh, you know, I, I would say every play is a learning play from him. And so, which is good. So the more snaps uh, he gets out there on the field, uh, the more learning opportunity he gets, uh, he, he gets in return. And each play, you know, we can all can learn from, you know, every play, you know, good, bad. And so you can see where uh, he's able to play fast each week, I think, you know, faster each week, uh, you know, with the, with the more reps that he's been, you know, getting throughout the season. So, you know, I, I think with rookies and, you know, guys, especially a guy like him, who really hasn't been playing a position for that long uh, is able to value the experience of being out there, uh, you know, week to week, you know, so for us. And he's done a really good job of, of, of the snaps that he's getting and taking advantage of those opportunities. And for, for, for him, I, I think, you know, he's going to, you know, grow uh, each year, each week, just like he's been a smart dude, tough dude. And, you know, uh, he, he rarely makes uh, mistakes twice. Thank you. And we have time for one final question here from Ian Steele. Hey, Steph. Hey, Demarcus. Uh, you mentioned in a previous answer, you know, you have your own plans and you focus 
on those as you go about the day to day uh, in overall with your career. You know, we've heard coaches, assistant coaches say eventually they want to be head coaches. Is that down the horizon for you? Obviously, that's in the horizon for me uh, of what I want to do. Um, you know, I, I get in this profession to one, uh, again, try to impact, you know, men. Uh, that's what we try to do. And, you know, so as, as we go through this, you know, the steps of being a position coach, coordinator, the head coach, obviously want to lead, lead a team. That is definitely, you know, uh, uh, one of, you know, my goals. And when that might be, I don't know. Again, like I said earlier, I said, really, I, I don't have my own plans. I said that God has the plans for me. So what those plans are, I don't know. All right, so that that's what I really said off of that. Um, and so whenever he he says I'm ready, that's when I'm ready. Um, until then, I'll be you know working and to and and when that time comes, you know you'll know, I'll know, and then we'll go from there. Appreciate the clarification. Appreciate it. <laughs>